Welcome to Machine Learning Tutorial. In this video, we will discuss what are the different issues in decision tree learning. The first issue in decision tree learning is overfitting the data. If you depend on the training data, that is if you depend too much on the training data while drawing the decision tree, there is a possibility that the tree will go into overfitting. That is a particular hypothesis will work good on the training data, but it doesn't work good on the testing or the real world data. So such a tree is called as uh, uh, overfitting. Now uh, this particular uh, overfitting can be uh, addressed with uh, two techniques. One is called as uh, reduced error pruning and the second one is post rule pruning. The second issue in decision tree is incorporating the continuous valued attributes. The decision tree works well with the problems where we have attribute value pairs, where uh, the fixed number of attributes are there and the discrete number of uh, possibilities for each attributes. If a particular attribute has the continuous values, then we cannot apply the decision tree directly. First, we need to convert those particular uh, attributes which are having uh, continuous values into a discrete uh, possibilities, then only we can apply decision tree learning. The third issue in decision tree is handling training examples with missing attributes. The decision tree algorithm works well with the data which has some sort of error. But if you want to use decision tree, what we need to do is uh, if you have some missing uh, attributes, we need to fill those particular missing attributes with uh, proper values then only we can use decision tree learning that is uh, let us say that a particular attribute is uh, not having a value for the fifth example what we need to do is uh, uh, we need to uh, find some value or we need to fill that particular uh, uh, fifth example with a proper value and then we need to uh, use the decision tree learning the next issue in uh, decision tree is handling attributes with uh, different costs that is uh, whenever uh, we apply decision tree that is the core decision tree algorithm each and every attribute in the given problem is given equal importance uh, like uh, if you have four attributes all four attributes are given equal importance but sometimes what happens is given a problem definition there is a possibility that a particular attribute may have more importance or it, it is given more weightage in such case uh, we cannot use the core decision tree learning there uh, we need to handle this particular issue uh, with some uh, sort of uh, calculation like uh, if you have a particular uh, attribute which is having more weightage compared to the other attributes that has to be given more importance so uh, uh, that uh, thing is not uh, considered in a core decision tree algorithm the last uh, issue in uh, decision tree learning is uh, alternative measures for selecting the attributes that is uh, while drawing the decision tree we use uh, information gain in uh, id3 algorithm uh, using that particular information gain we select uh, one attribute among the set of attributes as a root node and then the similar process will be followed uh, by selecting uh, by calculating the information gain for the remaining attributes and selecting one attributes from those and then uh, drawing the decision tree but uh, do we have any other method rather than considering the information gain that is the another issue in uh, decision tree. Uh, why uh, we need to consider another uh, major is uh, in uh, information gain or the while calculating the information gain, we uh, give more importance to the values or the attributes which are having uh, more uh, common class. Uh, that is a kind of bias in uh, decision tree learning. So to avoid that particular thing, uh, are there any other measures uh, we can use for selecting the attributes? So that's another issue in decision tree learning. All these issues are discussed in detail in uh, the next videos. The link for the videos is given in the description below. Do follow those particular videos uh, for understanding these issues. Uh, I have discussed these issues in detail uh, in those particular videos. If I discuss all the issues in one video, the length of the video will become too much. So you just follow the description. Uh, you will find the links for those particular videos. Watch those particular videos to understand these issues in decision tree learning. I hope uh, you understood what are the different issues are there in the decision tree. 
If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.